uh, my bill that I've introduced dealing with the caliber weapon. I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets, uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the streets. I don't know what else it takes, but I don't believe that we can stop at the door of the United States House. I believe there will have to be an emergence of members of the House flooding the United States Senate for Senator Connell to understand that these initiatives today, my gun storage bill, uh, my bill that I've introduced dealing with the caliber weapon. I've held an AR-15 in my hand. I wish I had it. It is as heavy as 10 boxes that you might be moving. Uh, and the bullet that is utilized, a 50 caliber, these kinds of bullets, uh, need to be licensed and do not need to be on the streets. So I think the House, once it votes, I hope there will be members that are Republicans and Democrats that will be Americans when it goes to the floor of the House and they'll vote on behalf of the American people, or my constituents in the state of Texas, twice, uh, or many other constituents. And then I think it is important for the President of the United States to commit to what he said previously, which is he was prepared to support the background check, and that he would be open to other legislation. Ninety percent of the people want background checks. Over 60% want a ban on assault weapons. 80% plus want red flag laws. And um, I would venture to say those numbers would be similar for storage laws and for licensing laws regarding uh, the question of firearms and ammunition. And finally, interestingly enough, Americans support the buyback program, which all of us could have in our respective communities. We're at a crisis. Uh, it's not just the Taliban coming to the United States. We're at a domestic crisis, and it's toxic, and it's combined with hatred. Uh, and besides the toxicity of hate, uh, we have guns, and we cannot wait anymore. We cannot wait anymore.